This is Brad Clayton with the July 2017 Puzzle Duck Golf Thought of the Month. Thank you for tuning in, uh, getting it in once again right at the uh, end of the month. But it uh, took a minute to, to kind of figure out what I wanted to talk about. So uh, something that came to my mind while I was driving the other day, I do a lot of, a lot of thinking, driving, riding horses and riding tractor and whatnot. And it just came to me that uh, it actually is somewhat comical, uh, uh, intriguing to me, uh, how people tend to get on the bandwagon. And what I mean by get on the bandwagon is, is when someone wins a golf tournament, someone gets hot, someone does something real well, uh, there's always a, hey, you should be doing what this guy's doing, or you should be doing what this girl's doing. Especially the guys, but uh, it, it happens with the girls as well. But instead of always looking at uh, the hot thing, I mean, everyone's got good stuff in their swings, obviously, and their games on the PGA Tour, the LPGA Tour, the Senior Tour. They've all got good stuff going on. Everyone has a little uniqueness about their game that helps them uh, or it's just unique to them that they actually do. Uh, maybe they started doing it as a kid. Um, maybe they learned it from the particular instructor they were working with. Maybe they just dug it out of the dirt themselves and found out that that worked for them. But everyone has a little bit uh, of a unique style. That style is not going to work necessarily for you. It's not going to necessarily work for most people. Probably won't work for most people because you're looking at one part of that golf swing, one part of that putting stroke, whatever it may be, uh, that that you're 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 trying to mimic. That doesn't necessarily have the rest of the ingredients that make that work in the swing in your golf swing. So here's the top thought of the month, and something that I feel very passionately about, and that is to simply work on the basics. Find the basic stuff. Get a good solid grip. Get a good solid posture. A good solid alignment, ball position, uh, and understand uh, where the and, and be consistent with that. Uh, as far as your golf swing goes, make consistent motions. Understand some sequence. Uh, there's going to be uh, some people lift the club a little in the back. Some pull it a little bit back. Some are in very good position in the back. Some roll it a little bit away, some have it a little shut. You got lots of good things, but have the basic general motion that goes along with that. And in my world, that is to make sure your grip is good. You're on the back side of the club a little bit more than would be neutral. Make sure your feet are about as wide as your hips and shoulders. Rears up, chest over, and you got a little bit of a swivel here. Ball position starts in the center with your wedges and shorter irons and gently moves forward the longer the golf club gets. Make sure that your shoulders are always parallel to where you'd like the ball to start. As far as the swing goes, you've heard this before from me, you want to turn back, feel pressure on your back leg, and push through, understanding the club face. Understand those four basic thoughts, fundamentals, if you will, in my world. Somebody else may have a different set of fundamentals, but those are Brad's, and that is, uh, set up, turn, and load, push with the sequence from the ground in your backside, and then as the golf club swings through, understand the club face, whether it's open, square, or closed on your timing, and just try to work on the basic, simple motions. Try to mimic something that Jordan Spieth is doing, something that Dustin Johnson's doing, something that Tiger Woods is doing, or Jack Nicklaus in his day doesn't necessarily match and it probably won't match what you do in your golf swing. Get good solid fundamentals, stay in touch with those, work on your short game and your game will get more consistent and will get better. If you have any questions for me, please feel free to email those at puzzleduckgolf at gmail.com. Remember the uh, website's up and running. Uh, very good uh, job from my friend Noah at uh, Look to the Right Marketing. Thank you very much for, for doing that for me, Noah. Um, the book is available uh, on that website, uh, the Puzzle Duck Golf book, and uh, that's at PuzzleDuckGolf.com, by the way, in case you didn't know. But uh, look forward to feedback. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, summer's almost over. I'm out here with a fire. It's July. What a beautiful day this was. Um, it's actually cool enough to wear a sweater, have a fire going, and 
and sit out and drink some uh, hot chocolate. How about that? I uh, look forward to seeing you in the August thought of the month. Thanks again. Have a great night.